Hi, today I will be talking about the history behind the widely celebrated holiday Cinco de Mayo and the significance it had on Mexico's history. So although Cinco de Mayo is a very popular holiday in Mexico and in the U.S., it unfortunately it is not a, considered a federal holiday in Mexico. Cinco de Mayo is celebrated all throughout the U.S., and people will take this day as an opportunity to drink margaritas, drink beer, and eat at their favorite Mexican restaurant. But does anyone truly know the history and the true meaning as to why we celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Cinco de Mayo is a holiday that celebrates Mexico's victory over the French army at the Battle of Puebla, which happened on May 5th, 1862. It has become an extremely popular holiday in the U.S. because it is seen as a very important way to commemorate Mexican culture and heritage, especially within Mexican-American populations. In the U.S., Cinco de Mayo celebration started a year after the Battle of Puebla took place, which was 1863. And as to why the Battle of Puebla happened in the first place, the financial consequences of the Mexican-American War led Mexico's president at the time, Benito Juarez, in July of 1861 to suspend payments for two years on English, Spanish, and French debts. And as a consequence, English, Spanish, and French soldiers arrived in Veracruz, Mexico. Then in 1862, the French troops were told to move from Veracruz to go and conquer Mexico City, and as the French troops were making their way to go conquer Mexico City, they were met with resistance in Puebla by the Mexican military, which were being led by Mexican General Ignacio Zaragoza. A year later, after the first battle happened and the French lost, the French returned with a force of 25,000 soldiers and again moved to capture Mexico City through Puebla, and ultimately they succeeded after a very long two-month battle at the forts of Guadalupe and Loreto in 1863. Now, as to why the French military were the only ones to make a move to go conquer Mexico City, it was actually because there were negotiations that took place, which led the English and the Spanish to withdraw their military forces. And although, and although the Mexican forces were poorly trained, poorly equipped, they still managed to defend themselves against the French army, who were properly trained and properly equipped for battle, meaning that they had weapons that were a lot faster than what Mexico had at the time, meaning that they had guns. Now, 15 years before the Battle of Puebla took place, California and other southwestern states were formerly Mexico, which led to Mexican citizens who were living in what we know now as the U.S. were made U.S. citizens overnight by the Treaty of Guadalupe in 1848. Now, the Chicano Civil Rights era of the 1960s would shift the meaning of this holiday forever. Mexican Americans celebrated by identifying with the Mexican revolutionaries and they wanted to bring the holiday of Cinco de Mayo to the U.S. because they wanted to identify more with their Mexican culture. Indiana newspapers in the 1930s would begin to report on Cinco de Mayo celebrations that would take place in the western United States or the Mexican capital of Mexico City. In conclusion, the holiday of Cinco de Mayo, although it is very fun to celebrate with very delicious food and very fun drinks, this holiday and the history behind it, it's so much more. It's a holiday that celebrates the underdog and the strength that they had to fight a battle that they were not properly equipped for nor trained for and they were seen as the losing team from the start. Thank you.